So have you ever had an issue where your iPhone just isn't giving you any sound in any way, shape or form? It's not ringing. It's not giving you any alerts. It's not playing the music that you want. If you're having any kind of sound issues with your iPhone, you're definitely in the right place. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to troubleshoot any kind of sound issues you may have on your iPhone. So let the download begin. So guys, if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff we can help, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss or release some cool, helpful content. So let's just jump right into it. If you're having any kind of sound issues, getting alerts or rings on your iPhone itself, if some things just aren't coming through the way that they're supposed to, there's a couple of things you can check. One of the first place you want to go is into your settings, and then you're going to go into sound and haptics. And then in this area, you have your volume rocker for your ring alert here so you can adjust the volume here if the volume is off or just down total and that can cause an issue with you getting updates alerts notifications or even rings when somebody's calling into your phone and also you want to check to make sure this button here is not selected normally when this button is selected the volume of the ring and alerts that come into your phone can then be adjusted by the buttons that you have on your volume rocker on the side of the phone itself you can inadvertently lower the volume of your rings and alerts thinking that you're only lowering the volume of the music and audio that you're playing and that can cause an issue later on. So sticking with the alerts issue, if you're still not getting in any kind of ring or alerts or any kind of audio in that retrospect from your phone, you want to check your ring and silent switch on the iPhone itself. All iPhones basically have a ring or silent switch on the side. And if you switch that switch, it'll put your phone into silent mode or take your phone off silent mode pretty well in there. So it's not easy to hit accidentally, but you may have switched it at a later time, not knowing it. Somebody may have switched it accidentally on your phone as well. So if you're not getting in any alerts or you're having any issues getting in rings, that's another place you can check. And now one of the other places you want to check is to make sure your do not disturb is on. Do not disturb works by making sure that you're not disturbed by any alerts, updates, or anything coming into the phone itself. So if your do not disturb is actually enabled, unless you've put special parameters in for alerts to come in from certain people, you're not going to receive any alerts whatsoever. So if you swipe down and go into your action center, you have this area here that you can access your do not disturb options for. So you want to make sure the do not disturb options is not enabled at all. I have it enabled currently because I'm filming and I don't want anybody to kind of disturb us while we're troubleshooting some issues. But normally this won't be on or if you have it scheduled, you may have it scheduled for another time. If you go into the settings itself, it gives you a lot more options with the do not disturb. You just want to make sure that the top one isn't ticked, especially if you're not currently getting in any rings or any kind of alerts in any way on your iPhone. Now, let's say you're having an audio issue playing music. Music. You put your music on, you're trying to play it, and nothing is coming out of the speakers in the iPhone itself. One of the most common things that can happen is that your Bluetooth is on, and Bluetooth enables your iPhone to cast audio to other devices. So a lot of people have AirPods or a lot of people have Bluetooth speakers that are nearby that connect automatically when you're ever in that room. So with Bluetooth on, those speakers or those headphones would be getting the audio itself. So one of the first things you want to check is just to swipe down and turn your Bluetooth off really quickly and then try and playing the music once more and see if that helps. A lot of the times the music is just going in a different direction, going to another device, and that can cause you to not hear the audio coming from your phone. So simply turn the Bluetooth off and if it works, you can just go into your Bluetooth settings themselves and make sure that whatever device it's casting to is not on in this setting and then you should be good to go. So another tip I would like to give is normally you can adjust the volume from anywhere in your iPhone. Absolutely. If you're playing music and you're on your home screen, you can definitely adjust the audio from there and it should work just fine. But if you're having any kind of difficulties getting audio from a certain application, like for instance, if you're playing music through YouTube music or if you're playing playing music through iTunes and the volume is just not coming out the way it's supposed to try actually adjusting the volume while you're in that app itself. So launch the app like I have here, go into it and then just start trying to adjust the volume from inside the application. Sometimes there's just like a little glitch that happens and sometimes it won't register for that particular application. The application is caching the information of your audio. Adjusting it within the app can go a long way in fixing any kind of issues you may have getting audio 
out of your iPhone. So now going back to any kind of alerts or updates, if you're still not getting in any kind of sound into your iPhone, you've made sure that your alert slider is set to on your do not disturb is also not turned on. Another thing you can check is to make sure that your alert settings in the iPhone itself are actually set to where it's going to alert you if something comes in. So what you simply want to do is launch your settings app and go into your notification area here and then simply just go through and check if you're getting it on certain applications but you're not getting it on a specific application then you can actually just go in and make sure your alerts are set up for that application. You do have the sound option here. There's a lot of time where an application just won't be displaying sound or not sending you the proper alerts that you're looking for and going in here and adjusting these settings can help fix that problem. Now, another thing you can do to try to fix any kind of sound issues that you're having is if you're just not getting audio out of the speakers of the iPhone itself, you wanna make sure that the audio is still working. You may have to connect a set of headphones to the iPhone. Now, I know that's very difficult because the headphone jack is no longer available on the iPhone. So you'd probably have to have a USB type C connection for the headphones or USB type C dongle and you connect that directly in and then you connect the headphones themselves and see if the audio itself is coming out. If you also have a Bluetooth set of headphones, you can give that a shot, but that only will really show you that the Bluetooth connection is working and that audio is flowing via the Bluetooth connection. If the speakers themselves are the issue, connecting a set of hardwire headphones can help troubleshoot the problem and let you know that there's definitely something wrong with the speakers themselves. If you find that there is an issue with the speakers, the next thing to check is to make sure that there's no debris or anything that's covering the speaker grill on the iPhones themselves. The speaker grill is usually located on the very bottom of the iPhones. That's where you get the majority of the audio coming out, but you also do get some audio out of the headset on the top. So you wanna make sure that both speakers are cleared of any kind of debris, any kind of lint, anything that may get in there and clog up the audio from actually coming out of the phone. Just do a little bit cleaning, run a little test and see if it fixes the problem. So the next couple of things you can do are standard things that you can check whenever you made sure everything else is fine. You kinda of wanna go in and you wanna to try to reset all the settings on the iPhone itself. A lot of the times, this can go a long way to fix the problem. So you just hit the general option here, scroll all the way to the bottom. You're gonna have a list of options there. You wanna hit that first option right on top and that's going to reset all the settings on the iPhone itself. Once all settings have been reset, the next thing you wanna do is before you even try playing your audio once more, is you wanna initiate a restart on the iPhone. And the easiest way to do that, of course, is to hold the volume down and the side button down for a couple of seconds and then the logo is going to appear for you to slide that to power off. Power off the iPhone, leave it off for maybe five to 10 seconds. You can count to five, count to 10, walk away from it, come back, power the phone up, and then try to play your audio once more, or try to have somebody send you a text message or give you a call and see if the audio works on that end as well. Powering it off, resetting your settings can help fix a lot of issues in the iPhone, believe it or not. So now the other thing you wanna do is to make sure you're at the most updated version of iPhone iOS. Sometimes being at an older version of iOS can have a lot of issues happen with the phone, especially if there was a recent patch that's released for audio issues that you may not know about. So if you go into your settings, of course, and then you go into general settings, there's a software option update there. You can see that there's an update available for me with some bug fixes included. If there's anything that pops up for you, you want to immediately download and install that update into your iPhone to make sure you're running the latest version of iOS. It's going to go through through the process of downloading, installing, restarting. Once the phone is back up and running, run your test once more and see if that fixes your problem. So now if you've tried everything else and everything is just not working, the last resort that you can try before taking it to Apple would be completely to restore your phone and load in a clean early backup that you have of the phone itself. So if you go into your general settings, you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna hit reset. And this time you're going to erase all content and settings here. What that's going to do is just basically wipe your phone completely clean, give you a starting point from the beginning. Now you can either choose at that point to restore from a previous backup that you did or choose to start your phone brand new. You're not going to have any information. You lose everything that you're doing here. So be very, very careful with this step. This is an actual last resort. Pictures, photos, movies, everything is going to be wiped completely clean. Your phone's going to be as if you just purchased it from the Apple store. Once you're back, 
back up and running, then you can run some more tests to see if that fixes your problem. If none of these steps that I've showed you in this video fix your issue, then there could be a hardware problem with the speakers on the phone itself. In which case, the only other option that you have would be to take it into Apple so they can service the speakers. A lot of the times it could be a loose wire. It could just be the speakers themselves blown out. It could just be something that you can no longer solve. These steps, if it's not a hardware problem, should definitely fix your issue. If it is a hardware problem, it'll definitely let you know that you're having a hardware problem. So you can definitely, with confidence, take your phone into Apple and let them know that you've performed every single step your tech support has told you to perform and it's still not working so they can take it from there. So guys, if you have a step that I didn't list in this video, go ahead and share it in the comment section down below. Until then, I'm gonna throw up on the screen some videos that we've recently done one of them is about Microsoft doing some pretty shady things to their customers you may want to check that out if you have any questions go ahead and ask those in the comment section down as well thank you so much for checking out the video if you enjoyed it if it was helpful you know what to do go ahead and smash destroy and annihilate that like button down below it helps the channel and it also appeases the YouTube algorithm Thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.